Welcome to Econ 2301. I'm going to do a whiteboard lecture over GDP growth rates, how to calculate them, as well as see what we can find out by using the GDP growth rate. We can find out how big the economy will be in a given amount of years, as well as how long it might take as far as an estimation for the economy, gross domestic product, to double. So let's start off with looking at the growth rate and the equation which is in chapter 8 of your book for growth rate for GDP is growth rate equals GDP in period 2 minus GDP in period 1 divided by GDP period 1 times 100 percent to get our rate. Now what I want you to note right now is that even though we see this say GDP in period 2 and GDP in period 1 that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be quarter 2 and quarter 1. It could be year 3 and year 4 or it can be 1990 versus 2013. What it's stating is the most recent um, year that we're comparing or time period, quarter, uh, month, etc. What we typically do is look at the growth rate from quarter to quarter. This is because we're able to see the economy grow and contract in a shorter period of time and it allows us to account for various seasons. And my lectures uh, up until this point, the PowerPoint lectures, explain that. What we're going to look at today, though, is how to calculate the growth rate, and then from there, what we can use that for. So let's just look at a couple statistics. Let's just say that the GDP, gross domestic product, in quarter one, and I apologize for my sloppy handwriting, doing my best with this uh, new tool this on my iPad. Quarter one was $15 trillion. And the GDP, gross domestic product, for quarter two equaled $15.5 trillion. Now, it would be pretty simple to just say that it increased by 0.5 trillion because 15.5 minus 15 is 0.5 trillion. However, that doesn't give us anything but the nominal amount it increased. What we are looking at is more in terms of real GDP as well as inflation and the growth rate to kind of see where we're headed. So what we need to do is sub in these things. Let's first sub in our GDP 2, our period 2, and that would be right here in the equation. And we can find that going up to quarter 2. And so if we were to sub that in right there, we would have $15.5 trillion. Next thing we need to do is we need to sub in for or place GDP in period 1 where it goes in the equation and this would be our 15 trillion and so when we write that in the equation for that variable we put 15 because that's what that is up there the top oops sorry once again my writing is not very good on this but I'll get better as time progresses. So down here is 15. And let me clean up some of the highlighter. My sloppy writing. <laughs> All right. So we've got 15.5 minus 15 divided by 15 times 100. So we know that this is 0.5 right here. And that would be 0.5 divided by 15 
or 0 0.0333 times 100%, and that would equal out to be 3.33%. In other words, our economy grew positive at an uh, increase rate of 3.3% from quarter one to quarter two in this example. Now this can tell us a whole lot and we're going to use that going forward to look at a few other things but real quickly I want to point out if this was negative let's just say it was 15.5 in quarter one and GDP in quarter uh, two was actually 15 trillion and somehow we came up with negative 3.3 percent or something similar then we would know that if we had one more quarter of negative growth or contraction we would have a recession and if we have four consecutive uh, quarters of contraction or decreased growth then we would see a depression fortunately back in 2008 and 9 we did not see that we came very very close and we were able to have a few months of positive growth that uh, kept us from a severe recession or what is known as a depression. So now let's look at what this might be, our economy, if it continued ceteris paribus, holding everything equal at a rate of 3.33% growth. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep that up there at the top, our growth rate. And now what I want to do is show you uh, the formula that we can use to see how many years GDP, GDP in years later, um, we can see what it might look like for our economy, our gross domestic product, given that many years. Now the formula to do that would be GDP in N years later and the variable n just stands for the number of years later equals and I'm gonna write the equation below it because I'm running out of room well I might have enough room so I'm gonna try it we'll see what happens 1 plus the growth rate and if uh, you were to use a finance term to or a finance equation to see what, how much your money had grown in a certain amount of years, this would actually be a rate, in, or R instead of growth rate, a G. But because we're talking about the economy and GDP, it's a growth rate. And that's done to the int variable. That n variable is how many years later. And then we times that by 100. Now let's just say that we wanted to see what our economy would look like in 0.3 um, or at a growth rate growth rate of 3.33 percent and we wanted to see that let's say in 20 years so we what we would do is we'd sub in for the various variables so n would equal 20 and our G would equal 0 0.033, and I'm going to go three threes, just to uh, keep it similar to this above. And what we would do is sub in these things. So we'd have 1 plus 0 0.0333. to the nth power, which this one would be 20th power, times 100. And if we were to calculate that out, this part right here would be 1.0333 1, 1 to the 20th power, or 1.925, and we would times that by 100 to get our growth rate or our actual amount 
and that would come out to be one hundred and ninety two point five percent and that would tell us how much the economy will be at in 20 years if we have ceteris paribus of a growth rate 3.33 percent now if I were to use that and let's just say I'll put that up here the 192.5% and I'm going to go ahead and erase this portion right below it the equation hopefully you have that by now and we're going to use that to figure out what our GDP would be if we had 15 Point five or 15 trillion we'll start off with that 15 trillion so what we would see is 15 trillion times 192.5 percent and when it's a percentage we know that that's actually 15 trillion times 1.925 would equal out to be Twenty eight trillion point eight seven five. That's a great thing, and what's great about this is that that uh, economists can forecast what's going to be our growth as well as what we should expect as far as the whole gross domestic gross domestic product GDP. And you might be asking yourself, well, why do we really want to know that? Well, what if the population growth kept up with um, GDP and we kept seeing or the population growth was actually more we would need to see what our GDP would look like and how much money we'd have in terms of nominal amount and how many mouse might we need to feed and how would inflation affect that many many things can come from figuring this out so it is vital to economics now, let's look at a real quick, easy way to figure out how long it will take for the economy to double. And this is really simple. And you can use this formula for yourself when you're looking at your savings account. And it's called the Rule of 70. And what it is, is you just take the interest rate, or if you're looking at the GDP, uh, rate you would just take it divided by 70 and that will tell you how long it's going to take for your amount to double and if you're looking at your savings account it's really really simple you can take the amount of money you have and just take the interest rate divided by 70 right now my savings account is earning 1% so it'd be 70 divided by 1 equals 70 so it would take me roughly 70 years and that's the equation for the rule of 70 what it is is just 70 divided by your growth rate or your interest rate depending on what you're looking at and we're looking at growth rates so we're going to take 70 divided by 3.33 and we will get 21.02 so roughly 21 years a little over that and that's just real simple didn't require very much math we know that it will take about 21 years for our economy to double and at that time if we're uh, holding everything constant cetera is paribus and we had an economy of 15 trillion in 21 years at a rate of 3.33% we can expect it to be thirty trillion dollars. That concludes this lecture. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My email address is jkemper at South Plains 
college.edu. And you can always follow me at Twitter or on Twitter at Mr. Kemper.